I'm a refinery's oil pipeline. I'm as long as a round trip from the Earth to the Moon. On May 28, 1879, a revolution in oil transportation began. Crude oil, which had been carried only in barrels made by weaving together pieces of wood, started being transported through oil pipelines. An impressive amount of oil, which would have required around 12,500 barrels, flowed through these pipelines at once. During the World War II, the U.S. transported war supplies and oil, using cargo ships and tankers. The giant oil tankers were more visible and slower than other cargo ships, making them the main targets for German submarines. As a result, not only was the supply of oil needed by the Allies disrupted, but the supply of oil intended for use in the eastern regions also was jeopardized because many goods sank to the bottom of the ocean. To resolve the oil transportation issues, the U.S. government came up with an idea. It was to build a long-distance oil pipeline that could carry crude oil produced in Texas to the east. Thereupon, on August 14, 1943, just a year after the construction began, the U.S. completed an oil pipeline from Texas to New Jersey that stretched 2,108 kilometers and crossed over eight states and 20 rivers. The pipeline had a diameter of 24 inches, which was five times larger than what had been used previously, hence the name Big Inch. This Big Inch pipeline could transport 300,000 barrels of crude oil per day. In 1944, a year later, with a reduced diameter of 20 inches and extending over a total of 2,373 kilometers, surpassing the length of the Big Inch Pipeline, the Little Big Inch was completed. The Big Inch and Little Big Inch Pipelines transported more than half of the oil within the U.S., ultimately contributing to the victory of the Allies in World War II. In the case of South Korea, nowadays the country has an extensive network of oil pipelines, managed by Dayan Oil Pipeline Corporation, divided into six major lines, jointly established by the government and oil refineries, including SK Energy. The pipelines that start from SK Innovational Sun Complex and SK Incheon Petrochem extend to inland urban areas including Seoul, Daejeon, Daegu, and Gwangju. Especially, the total length of the pipelines within SK Innovational Sun Complex is 600,000 kilometers, which exceeds the distance between the Earth and the Moon. Thanks to the oil pipelines laying somewhere hard to be seen, crude oil has been transported from deep underground to various places where we live. Don't forget that it's me who transports crude oil safely.